assail like the sheep upon the water. Hmm. God, who knows all about you, he will stand by you. In the midst of persecution, he will stand by you. In the midst of persecution, he'll stand by you. When you have done the best you can, and the people misunderstand. About you, he stands by you. In the midst of confusion, and some dear friends and foes come together to conspire against you. And is he the only one? Is he the only one? Get rid of him. He'll stand by you. Stand by me. In the midst of tribulation, persecution, envy, and unhealthy jealousy, he'll stand by you. Stand by me. He who was with Paul and silence and it seems all hope got lost he who stayed with Paul and silence he will start by you Time has come to face you. Wherever you shall follow your fellow, surely goodness and mercy shall follow. Can you join him in prayer? That surely goodness. And Bessie shall follow him. thanks we give you our praise we give you all the honor for the privilege we have to give you we ask oh Jesus that you bless this offering we ask oh Jesus that you bless the give us grant oh Lord Jesus that this we stand as a memorial in your presence all the days of our lives Amen. in Jesus mighty name we have prayed
Praise the Lord. Are we not happy? Are we not uh, joyful? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Please, I want us to know that when we say praise the Lord, we are not just trying to call your attention. We are actually asking you to give praise to the name of the Lord. Can we do it one more time? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, shortly before the choir came up, uh, some other very important personalities came into the worship service and we'd like to quickly recognize them. Please, uh, we will try to be doing that as soon as we are aware of your presence. So if I don't do it now, please uh, just bear with us. We will still recognize you as soon as we get information about your presence. We have the conference president of Quara Baptist Conference, uh, Reverend Dr. Dada. You are welcome, sir. Uh, I, I'm sure mommy is also with him. I saw them when they were coming in. You are welcome, ma. Oh, she's not around. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we have uh, the director of Global Mission Board of the Nigeria Baptist Convention, Reverend Dr. Femi Adewumi and the wife. Uh, they are here. God bless you, sir. You are welcome, sir. And uh, I also saw Mr. Coach, please help me. How do you call... Uh, Mr. Ogunkale, you, you have one. <laughs> Is it Chief Ogunkale? I saw. Uh, <laughs> Prince. Honorable. Uh, Honorable Prince Ogunkale. I want to give you the number. <laughs> you are welcome, sir. Uh, he's a friend of the university and uh, he has done so much for this university. Uh, you recall that the Bible called God the architect and the builder of all things. So God is both the architect and the builder. Uh, this chapel where we are having this worship service was designed by an architect, but the structure was constructed by a builder. So I've been told that uh, we have the man who supervised the building of this uh, ATVs where we are worshiping this morning, the chief executive officer of Ponty and Cole, Mr. Benedict uh, Odukwe. Did I call it right? God bless you, sir. Please, can you wave your hand to the Lord in this chapel? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, well, as we can see, we have two of our royal highnesses uh, in this worship service with us. We are still expecting others to join us. We have uh, our host. the king properly. Oh, Lord, we celebrate you, man. God bless you, man. God bless you. And we have the uh, Olotamakon of Otamakon. I hope uh, you have heard the name of that uh, town before, if you are going to Bomosho from this other hand here. So uh, we have the Olotamakon of Otamakon here in our worship service. And the Olori, you are welcome, sir. You are welcome. God bless you. God bless you. I also noticed that we have the former bossa of the university, Mr. Okwade. Am I right, sir? Mr. and Mrs. Okwade. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome, ma. Mommy, please sit down properly. Uh, sit down and... Uh, <laughs> because I can see that you didn't adjust yours. So please sit down very well and enjoy this service. Uh, as soon as we have other people joining this service, we will please try to recognize you. Uh, we want to listen to God's word and to bring the word of God to us is no other person than our beloved father in the faith, our brother, our uncle, brother Bile Akane. Many of us will be wondering that uh, we have not recognized Bragbile since we started the service. So where is Bragbile seated? Uh, Bragbile will be ministering to us virtually. Uh, he is unavoidably uh, absent in this service, but he is present with us virtually. Uh, I want to let you know that he actually desires to be in this service. I remember, uh, together with the Vice Chancellor, we were with him at Oyekiti sometimes last year, I think around, around this time last year, to book this date with him. And he has been doing everything possible to uh, be sure that he's here. But unfortunately, there's another big meeting that the pizza house runs. We call it Millet. And he will be supervising the Millet program. So uh, he apologized so sincerely because uh, it will take him three days away from Millet program. And uh, he felt so sorry that 
it will not be here physically. But we believe that uh, we are all used to listening to messages virtually. Uh, there is no barrier with God. Whatever I will do physically, it will do virtually. So to the glory of God, I would like you to please join me as we welcome virtually our brother, Bragbile Akane, as he shares the word of God with us. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, uh, I've just been informed that uh, he just stepped out from the uh, view center over there in Boko. So he will join us virtually very soon. Can we just appreciate the Lord in song? Let me just ask uh, Praise and to give us a uh, three, five minutes of prayer session as we prepare our heart for the word of God. Can we welcome praise and joy to the altar? Thank you. Hallelujah. I would like us to rise again to praise our Father. It's a good day. If it is good, it must be God. And if it is God, it must be good. So it's a good day. Mm. <laughs> You are good. You are good. You are good. Jesus, listen. Every day, every hour, you are good. Jesus, sing like that. You are good. Hey, you are good. You are good. Jesus, every hour. You are. You are good. Uh -huh. Jesus. Everybody say you are good. Uh, you are good. You are good. Hey, Jesus. Every, uh, every heart. Uh, you are good. Hey, everybody say you are good. Uh, you are good. Uh, you are good. Hey, Jesus. Every day, every day, every heart. You are good, yeah. Everybody see you are good, yeah. You are good, uh, you are good, hey, Jesus. Every day, every day, every day, uh, uh, you are good, yeah. Hey, everybody say you are good, uh, you are good, you are good, hey, Jesus. Every day, every day, every day. Every day.
so that we can maximize our time. Uh, very shortly, we'll be going into the birthday Thanksgiving. Uh, but before then, uh, let me quickly uh, recognize some other uh, very important uh, personnel who just entered the chapel. Uh, before then, I would like to I just look at this side and realize that our children normally, they don't worship with us in the chapel. They have their own worship center there. But they have decided to honor the vice chancellor this morning. They said they are coming to the chapel to worship with us. So I would like us to please uh, celebrate these children. God bless you, children and their teachers. We love you. We thank you. God bless you. Uh, we also are with us in this service uh, the executive secretary of committee of vice chancellors and registrars of private university, Professor Ochefu. Professor Ochefu. But he's been represented here this morning by Dr. Abolonde. You are welcome, sir. God bless you. I'm very close to him. He's the former registrar of Bowen University, now the registrar of Lautech uh, Ogumo Shop, Dr. Kayode Ogunleye. You are welcome, sir. God bless you. All right, are we prepared to celebrate with our vice chancellor? How many of us are ready to celebrate with him? Amen. Amen. I would like us to do that in dancing and in offering whatever the Lord has blessed us with. Uh, the usher, we position, you know, offering boxes in the front here, and I would like us to dance and to celebrate the Lord as we offer him whatever the Lord has placed in our hearts as we rejoice with our vice chancellor. We will give the vice chancellor and the family the uh, opportunity of offering their thanks first to the Lord, and I'm sure uh, the VC will not do that on the altar here. I'm sure he will dance to this center here so that we can rejoice with him. All right, so can we have again praise and joy uh, worship team to lead us in this time of celebration. Yeah, I want people to... Prof will be here. No. Okay, Prof. So you have to go. Mama. Uh, good. I'm part of Prof's uh, 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 story because my own, my own son also graduated in 2020. All right? And uh, uh, the first uh, uh, first chancellor happened to be like Professor Lagbinro. Yes. My own daughter came in that time. All right? And then during Professor Ujo, he, she graduated. Another, another one came in as he graduated, he graduated during your own tenure. So I'm part, I'm part of this celebration. Thank you God very much. You, God bless you, sir. So we'll be dancing together. We'll be, we'll be enjoying God together. And uh, for God so good, the new VC is my own brother. We came out from the same town. <laughs> we are from the same town. Uh, we, we went to the same Baptist High School, Shaki. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I came I came in here, I mean, came out in the year 1982. And I thank God for your life, sir. More grace, more honor. In the name of every little right. We want to dance together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Good, good, good. Hey, hey. And say, 
Ay, no, pero. Ay, no, pero. Ese, ay, 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 Eso aye Only you can do what no man can do to you. Only you As soon as we dance with the vice chancellor, so that other people can have space, let's go to our seats so that those who are coming can have a chance of rejoicing with him and going back to their seat. Please let's let's cooperate. Let's do that, please. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, my God is good. Okay? Ah, 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 ah,
to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, thank you so much for the quality dance and the offering we have offered to the Lord. My prayer is that the Lord will accept our lives and he will accept our offerings in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for celebrating our vice chancellor with us. You will also be celebrated. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless your household. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Before we go to listening to the word of God, uh, we are sorry the other time uh, there was a technical issue over there in Goko, but I think they have resolved it now. So uh, Daddy Bile is with us. But let me quickly recognize uh, the presence of the executive secretary, I mean executive director of the WMU of the Nigeria Baptist Convention, Reverend Dr. <laughs> Mrs. Rachel Olateju. Thank you. And all the other members of our WMU executive that are here, we recognize you. We thank you. God bless you. Now, I would like us to prepare our hearts as we listen to the word of God. Technica, are we good to go? All right. Praise the Lord. We give God all the praise and rejoice uh, with our brother, the Vice Chancellor, on this occasion of the, the valedictory service and his birthday that God has granted us at this time. We appreciate the joy and the thanksgiving that God had uh, brought us to make unto him for five years of his service at Bowen University and for adding this new year to his own life, we don't take it for granted. We like to say thank you to the Lord. We thank God for the various things that God has done in the past few years of his tenure at Bowen. We also thank God for the way in which God has kept the entire university under his watch. We don't just kept the entire university under his watch. We don't take that for granted. We want to say thank you to the Lord. Can I ask us to please bow our heads to pray as we take this uh, short exhortation this morning. Let's pray together. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your love. <clears throat> we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the grace that we have experienced. We thank you, God, for the joy of coming to stand together with your servant, our brother, Professor Joshua Gwole, 
thank you God for the past five years in which he took over the leadership of uh, Bowen University and all that your grace has enabled him to do in our midst. We don't take it for granted. We thank you. Thank you for the growth that we saw. Thank you for buildings that came out. Thank you, God, for the restructuring that took place. Thank you for the redefinition of our programs, our academic programs, and the refocusing that you brought during our brother's tenure. All of this, we give you praise. We give you praise for the spirituality of Bowen that you kept going, even in the course of this time. We thank you, God, for many, many young people that met Christ in the course of this time. Thank you for our lecturers, our staff, and all the people that were working in the, in the university at a time like this. We don't take it for granted that you have helped us. Thank you, God, that you will not allow riots. You did not allow the, the rampage that will have a, be a dent upon this work. Thank you that you handled it all together. In every sense, we come back to say thank you. And Lord, today we also thank you for our brother's life. Thank you for the way in which you have laid hands upon him for the kind of things you have used him to do. And the days ahead of him is stepping out of this office this time, not into a vacuum, because there is a greater plan that you have for him. And for this, Lord, we want to stand together to give you all the praise. Now, Lord, we have gathered as your servants, as friends, as colleagues, as students, as staff, and all the people that you have brought together. We ask that even this morning, please speak with us and cause your word to mix with faith in our hearts and that each one of us, the portion of meat that is meant for our lives, you bring it to us, to the honor and to the glory of your name. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I want to begin by expressing my deep appreciation to the university uh, leadership that I've considered that I should bring this exhortation to this uh, Thanksgiving service, despite the fact that I should have been there on ground, but because of the challenges of our crowded schedules and also the uh, challenge of movement between Boko and Iwo at a time like this, I have begged that they should allow me to do this this way. And so I do appreciate the, uh, the university, appreciate the VC that uh, agreed that we can go like this. And then the chaplain, uh, Dr. Akambi, who has been uh, on me all the time, making sure that these things work out. I want to appreciate all of you. May the Lord bless you. I also want to appreciate the leadership of the convention the president, and then the WMU executive directors, and all directors and president of conferences that have come together to celebrate with our brother this Thanksgiving. I want to appreciate all of you. Thank you for uh, cooperating with uh, Professor Joshua to be sure that this tenure actually went each free to the praise and glory of our God. All of this, we have reasons to give God praise. Now, this morning, I wanted to draw uh, my exhortation from three passages that we have been looking at. We have looked at Psalm 46 uh, in our Bible reading, and Psalm 46 is quite a very great a psalm, I'd like to draw a few issues out of it. I'd like to draw a, a very simple issue also from Psalm 23, and then I will end by looking at Psalm uh, 89 as an instruction for our outgoing VC and for the days ahead of him as the Lord will be helping us. Now, Psalm 46, which was read to us as our scripture reading today. 
And I just want to affirm what that psalm is saying as we go ahead. God is our refuge and our strength. God is our very present help in trouble. That is why we will not fear though the earth be moved or be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the only place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Now, uh, for any man to want to move and see the glory of God in his life, for any man to desire to see the manifestation of the eternal purposes of God in his life and on his hand, for anyone to want to uh, prevail in this present world in which we find ourselves, and for anyone who desire to bring glory to God in this lifetime, there are few things that he needs to deal with. And this is what Psalm 46 and Psalm, one, I mean Psalm 23 is uh, dealing with. And I'd like to begin by looking at this very quickly. And for our brother Joshua, the Lord has guided you and led you to this point. I'd like to again remind you that the strength, the secret that God has taught you many, many years ago, that same secret is what has brought you to where you are now, where we could celebrate you. But we cannot allow that to go away, even at this point at which you are stepping out of this office and they're stepping into the next phase of your life and of your work with God. Now, what is that? God is our refuge. God is our strength. God is our very present help in trouble. I need to go over that again. God is our refuge. God is our strength. God is our very present help in trouble. For any man to become anything in this earth, he needs God to become his refuge. God must become our hiding place. God must be the strength of our lives. God must be the helper of our lives and of all that we need to do. And he is the very, very present help in trouble. He never comes late. He never delays when it is time for him to rush to send us help as uh, we need. Now, but when a man has come to know God as his refuge, then there is nothing to fear then there's no one to fear. That because God is our refuge and is our strength, and that God is our very, very present help in trouble. So for this reason, therefore, we not we fear. Even though the earth be removed, and even though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, the waters thereof are and be troubled. Though the mountains be swelling thereof. Now I want you to see all the dough, all the dough, all the dough that you see in this passage. That is, these are serious contradictions. These are conflicts. These are things that will make men and women everywhere to melt and to shake. But because God is our refuge, because God is our strength, because God is our very, very present help in trouble. This is why 
not fear. This is where why we can stand our ground. This is why we can be bold. This is why we can we can face challenges, and we know that we are going to be victorious. Now he said, even though the heart be removed, even though the mountains are carried into the midst of the sea, even though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, even though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, why are we not going to be afraid? It is because God is our refuge. It is because God is our strength, is the strength of our lives. It is because God is our very present help in trouble. It is because God, whom we have made our refuge, whom we have made our uh, habitation, whom we have made our helper, who is our help, you know, in time of trouble, very present help. Because we are making our refuge, that's why we will not fear. And I just want to thank you today that one of the things I have interacted with our brother Joshua with over the years, and since I got to know him, is that implicit faith in God, that personal experience of Jesus, that personal encounter that he had with Jesus several years ago, in which he kept, you know, servicing it. He kept building on it. He kept working in it. And that is why we are able to stand here today to give thanks to God. God is our refuge. Brother, we thank God that you made the Lord, the Lord our God, your own refuge. You made him your habitation. You made him to be the strength of your life. That is the secret that we are celebrating today. That is the secret that made you to weather all the storms, that made you to stand even when it looks as if everywhere is shaking. That's why you are able to stand even when it appears as mountains. Those that could have been like mountains behind you. Those that you could have said, yes, I'm a, I'm a affinity, right? When it looks as if they are not there, we could not shake because God, God is our refuge. God is the strength of our lives. And God is being our very present help in trouble. Now, he said, even though the waters roar and be troubled, even though the mountains are shaking and shaking and quaking with the swelling thereof, what is it that will keep us standing? What is it that will keep you going? What is it that will keep you, you know, strong in the face of all that are quaking and shaking all around us? It will be that you have made the Lord, our God, your personal refuge. I do know there are several people that rather than make God their refuge, they have gone to look for powers here and there. Some have gone to join some certain courts, some secret courts, and say, yes, let them cook you well, so that no arrow of the enemy will come near you. But I thank God that the refuge of our lives, the refuge that you have learned, the refuge that God has brought you into, is the Lord God himself. And the strength that makes you strong, People wonder, where is this man developing his agility? Where is he getting strength? Where is he getting boldness? The Lord is our strength. And God is our very present help in trouble. But now, there is this verse 4 that I want to read and read together up to verse, verse 6. Because God is our refuge, there are things that God himself does. He said, there is a river 
the streams where we shall make glad the city of God, the only place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and he will do that right early. God never comes late to those who decide to wait on him. God never comes late to those who decided to trust him. God never comes late in bringing help, in bringing succor, in bringing wisdom, in bringing direction to all those who choose to wait and work with him. So I saw God saying, the Lord himself is in the midst of her. You see, when you make God your refuge, when you have accepted God to be your strength, when you have turned to him as your help in trouble, when he has become the, the source, the resource base of our lives, we see God doing one thing. He said God himself is in the midst of her. The presence of God has always been the strength of our lives. And when God is, is you know, the Bible says, if God be for us, who, who can be against us? And so, brothers and sisters, as we celebrate and give thanks to God on behalf of our brother in this valedictory service, as we give God praise, even for God adding another year to his life. And as we have labored and worked together with him for the past five years, and we have reason to say, well, we thank God for what God has done. I want to again admonish and bring exhortation to each one of us. Where is your refuge? My brother, where is your refuge? And who is your refuge? Where do you draw your strength from? Where do you draw your help from? Psalm 121 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? Say, my help does not come from the hills. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He will not allow you to, to, to slip off. It is when you make God your refuge that we can have this. I want to ask you, as we celebrate our brother today, I can tell you that if there's anything I can say as a testimony about our brother Joshua, it is that he has come to an experience of God becoming his refuge. Sometimes the kind of things that he dared to do, the kind of things that he dared to stand up with. You say, where is his boldness coming from? Where did he get this kind of thing? So can Shaki be me? No. When you have made God your refuge, you can attempt anything. When God has become the strength of your life, you can dare anything. When God has become your very present help in trouble, you know that you can call on him at any time Things are quaking and shaking, he will come to you. Now, dear brothers and sisters, I'm asking, who has become your own refuge? And I'm talking about it more deliberately. I'm asking you about it more personally. I'm asking you to think about it. Where is your strength coming from? Can you truly say the Lord is the strength of my life? Can you say, like in Psalm 27, the Lord is my strength. God is my light. The Lord is the power of my life. Or did you have somewhere else, or nowhere religious people? I know that we are church people, church men and women, and I thank God for all of that. But I want to ask you a question. Where is your refuge? I've been in the church for all the years, and my eyes have seen all kinds. I have known pastors that the refuge of their life is not God. It's not the Lord Jesus. I have known several prophets and prophetesses whose refuge is not the Lord. I almost will not have given my life to Christ. When my own father that was a humbleist, 
Let's say he is the refuge behind some of our reverend pastors. And I kept saying, no, you can't be there, men of God. He said, wait and see. And I will see some of them come in the night, come around 7 p.m. They will now wear big agada so that the honor that we are going to give them, they will be able to hide it inside their clothes. So we come and chew things in order for people to come to church. Dear brother, where is your refuge? Has God become the refuge of your life? You see your strength? You see your very present help in trouble? Can you say the Lord is with you? That if God be with me, who can be against us? At this Thanksgiving, I just want to bring this exhortation. That if there's any success we saw in the past five years, if there's any help we saw in the past, in this tenure, if there's any boldness that was demonstrated, if there's any fortrightness that was manifested, if there's any, you know, standing out there and say, let's go, let's do it, it will only be because the refuge, the refuge, the secret strength, the secret pavilion is God himself. And if you don't do that, when mountains begin to shake, when they begin to be removed, when the waters begin to run, when trouble begins to come, we are not able to stand. And I find that so many, when they are threatened, they have to run at and scatter, and looking for where to hide their head. Some are begging men here, some are mortgaging their lives there, whatever they can do. But if God be our refuge, if God be your strength, if God be your very present help in trouble, who can be against us? The God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that's right early. That's right early. The kingdoms were moved. God uttered his voice. They admitted, the Lord of us is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Can I ask, can you also say that? Can you make that as a personal declaration? The Lord the of us is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Can you say, Selah? Can you say, Amen to that? Will you be able to say, yes, that's also for me. That's also my story. That's also my experience. So when we come together, you know, say, come, verse 8, come, be the words of the Lord, what he has done in the face of the earth. Come and see. He make the words to see until the end of the earth. He break up the bow. He put up his prayer in sunder. He burned the chariot in the fire. He said, Be still and know that I'm God. I'll be exalted among the eating. I'll be exalted in the heart. The Lord of is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. I want to ask Is that going to be your testimony as an individual? And while I'm speaking about this, I again want to admonish even our brother that is going to be stepping in into this office. I thank God for your life as well, and I believe that God is bringing you in. And God wants you to press on with this good work that God has started doing in our midst. But I must say to you, if anything less than God is your refuge, you are not likely to make it. If you are not strong in Christ Jesus, if you are not well rooted in him, if you are not holding on to him and say, you will be the strength of my life, there is no natural strength that can confront the challenges that is coming to us in the coming days. But if it is God, he said, if it be for us, who can be against us? And the Lord of us is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. He is the one that makes wars to cease unto the end of the earth. It's the one that breaks the bow and throws the spear in sunder. It's the one that burns the chariot in the fire. It's the one that gives assurance. Be still and know that I'm God. I will 
seated on the earth, the God, the Lord who is with us, and the God of Jacob is our refuge. Their brother and their sister, and all of us that God has brought together today, I'm just asking you a question. Who is your refuge? Where is your strength coming from? Where is your help? Where are you expecting your help? Are you expecting it from the mountains? Are you thinking of some big somewhere who have put their hands on their chest and say, we are for you, we are behind you? It's only men. For what sure, for you, for you, for you, for you, but if it is God, who is your refuge? If it is God, is the one that say we are be, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. I will not leave you, I will not forsake you. Then I can begin to say, thank God for you. Now, why are you saying God is our refuge? There was a decision that I want you to just see in Psalm 23. And this decision has to be personal and has to be your decision and has to be your prayer. In Psalm 23, again, we know sometimes because we are Baptist people and we have read our Bibles many times, sometimes we have committed this to memory, we can always recite it. It's almost like we don't need to open it, but I want you to open it. I want you to open it because there are few personal issues that I wanted to mark, even as we are celebrating this Thanksgiving, and as I'm bringing this exhortation, both to our brother Joshua and to all of us that are coming, and all those that God is bringing in again to continue the, the vision of Bowen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. We notice that this particular psalm is personalized. We see the word my, I, me, all through this psalm. I brought it because until the Lord becomes your own personal shepherd, until you have made the Lord the shepherd of your soul, until you have become his own sheep, the sheep of his pasture, until you have become one who listens to him, he said, my sheep hears my voice. Now, you may be general, we may be talking about general things, but I'm asking as an individual, if the Lord become the shepherd of your soul, have you become the sheep of his pasture? Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Does he speak? And he said, I speak, my, my sheep hears my voice. Are you obedient to his voice? Are you working in obedience to him as your shepherd? Are you submissive to him as the one whom you may know is the shepherd of my soul? As we keep reading scriptures, even when you go to the New Testament, he's talking about he is the shepherd of our soul, he is the bishop of our soul. Can I ask you, has Jesus been made the shepherd of your life? He said, because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. I shall lack nothing. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Now, you know, why it is good to talk about the green pastures, why it is good to talk about the still waters for the blessedness of it, but my emphasis is it makes me to lie down. Those that have made God their shepherd, and those who want to remain as the sheep of his pasture, one thing you will see is that they are obedient. They are submissive to his instruction. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. There are many, many, many of us that you only do what you like to do. You are not working with God in obedience. You are wondering why things are starting around you because 
you have lived independent of his instruction. You are not listening to his day-to-day -day instruction for your life. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He says, no, you don't go like that. Lie down here. Lie down here. How many of us are actually working with God in obedience? That we will not do anything unless he tells us to do it. And if he says, don't do that, we will never go near it. How many of us would like to walk daily with God in obedience? How many of us would like to lie down when he says, lie down here? And you might be running after scatter and looking here and there and trying to be attracted by what others are doing. He needed me. How many of you are under his leadership? And you say the Lord is leading me. The Lord is the one leading me. He leads me. He leads me. He's the one leading me. Every step of the way, he's the one leading me. He leads me. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. You know, as I look at this psalm, I say, oh, Lord, when a man has made you the shepherd of his life, there are several needs for the story of our souls. He restores my soul. It touches me that many, many people, they are looking fat on the outside, but their souls are lean. They are looking plumply on the outside, but their inner man is drying. The inner life is not, is not fresh. They have been dilapidated inside, or they have been punctured inside. The face looks nice, but the heart sick. The look nice, it's put up a good smile, but the inner man is bitter. Now, if a man has made the Lord the shepherd of his life, God concerns is concerned about your soul. Is your soul experiencing fresh restoration? Because where he made me to lie, there I lie. Where he asked me to stay, that's where I stay. Where he leads me, there I go. Regularly, he restores my soul. He keeps me in good shape with him. He keeps my spirit. 
He does not allow my life, my inner man, to dilapidate. I am calling to him. I'm calling with him. He leads me in the path of righteousness. I am not part of those who are working dubiously. I'm not playing with anything. I'm not playing with other people's uh, money. I'm not playing with other people's wife. I'm not playing with other people's children. He leads me in the path of righteousness. And so even if I'm walking in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because the Lord is with me. The Lord himself is guiding me, is guiding me, is Lord, is staff. They come for me because I am obedient. Brothers and sisters, as I stop this exhortation at this point, I want to ask, is the Lord, have you accepted him to be your shepherd? Have you accepted him to be your shepherd? You are that a sheep, free ranging sheep that is everywhere in the bush. God is still looking here and there. Say, where is he now? Where is he now? They say, we saw him on that side. We saw him on that. But I told him to lie down here. To lie down here. He is too. He's too mobile. How do we rate your life? And as I want to conclude, I would like to conclude with a promise. We'll share that promise with our brother Joshua, and with all of us here present. And that promise is coming from Psalm 89, Psalm 89. And I'd like to look at Psalm 89. I'll read it, verse 18. I'll read up to, um, yes. Let me just read. You will see the promise there. And as I'm reading it, I trust that God will confer that upon your lives. God himself will confirm it with you as we rise from here. For the Lord is our defense. In the world of Israel, he is our king. When thou speakest in vision to thy only one and said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant, with my only oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established, and my hand also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and I pray them that I hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall come to me, thou art my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. And I will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven. Now, dear brother Joshua, I just felt that as we conclude uh, this Thanksgiving uh, before the uh, servant of the Lord, our uh, president will be praying and blessing you in this uh, uh, Thanksgiving and your birthday. I wanted to know Pastor was talking as if it's only for David. But you see, if God finds the kind of heart he found in David, if he finds it in you, a man after his own heart, the man is eagerly seeking out to please God all the time. The promises that God makes to such men will become yours as well. So let me read it again without uh, waiting. The Lord will be your defense, and the only one of Israel will remain the king of your life. We will know leadership and rulership for the rest of your years in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will lay his help upon you. God himself 
will be excited to help you everywhere you go from here. You are served in, in this office, and we thank God for all that God did through your life. We are trusting God that that which you have done, they will establish. All that, that is coming behind you to continue the good work, the Lord himself will encourage and establish his own hand as well in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, God has found you and to find you as his servant. And he will continue to renew your life with his holy oil. We will continue to anoint you. Your head will not go down off. Uh, every one of us who ever work with God, the secret power of our lives is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. And the anointing is not just for public ministry. The oil is for every aspect of what we are called to do, whether in academics or in government or in politics, anywhere. The oil must be on our heads. And that oil will not dry on your head as you go from here in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not leave burning to become a dry. You will not to become shrink. God is taking you from here and will give you something fresh. He will lead you to something greater. And we are going to hear great news about you in the coming days in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will cause his hand to establish, to be established upon himself with whom my hand shall be established. Whatever you did in Bowen will be nothing compared to what God will yet be doing with your life. God is planning something that we have not yet seen. Eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. It has not entered the heart of any man. What God is setting for you. So if a man is faithful in that which is least, God will consider him faithful in that which is much. If you have been faithful in that which belongs to others, the Lord will release to you all the necessary for, for you, your wife, and your children in the name of Jesus Christ. The enemy shall not exact, but the son of wickedness be able to afflict you. The Lord will make you overcome in everything you do. The Lord said, I will beat down all your foes before you. And I will play them that hate you. Those that are sitting down in their confederacy say, how can we put this man down? The Lord himself will play them. The one that is biting them before they scatter. Because if they be for us, who can be against us? But my faithfulness and mercy shall be with you. The Lord will keep his faithfulness with your life. His mercy will not be withdrawn from you. And in his name, the Lord will exalt your own. He said, in my name, his horn shall be exalted. Without thank God that God brought you to this height, but there's still a higher ground that God is taking you. The Lord will bless you. So I will set his hand also in the sea and his right hand in the rivers. You know what that will mean. As an academic, you know what that will mean. You know what you can do when it begins to extend your usefulness abroad. When it takes you from one river to another, he said, I will set his hand also in the sea and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, thou art my father. And to me, that's a greatest privilege to call God your father to cry to him any time. And Baba will say, yes, here am I. I am the rock behind your life. And I will make him my first man. When God decide to raise a man, when God decide to promote a man, decide to increase a man, to bring him down. May the Lord continue to be faithful on him and right for him. For God will reserve his mercy for your life. Everywhere we go from here, it shall be well with you. And God will keep you in his covenant. We will not miss your work with the Savior. And everywhere we go, 
the Lord himself will be very jealous about you. The testimony of Christ in your life shall never be lost. The Lord will cause you to grow in grace from one degree of glory to another. I'd like us to talk to God here as I stop. The Lord bless you, and the Lord will make his face to shine upon you. And for all of us, as you join me to pray together with our brother and his family, that the Lord will remember you also. As you came to thank God with us, may the Lord cause the sound of joy never to cease in your house. We will keep dancing to the glory of God. God will bless you also, and perfect work concerns you. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. And as we pray, please bow your head. The Lord is standing in our midst, and there's a question I must ask you before we stop. Who is your refuge? Have you made the Lord your personal shepherd? And while you are sitting in this meeting, your strength is not located in him. You are finding somewhere else. There are some certain mountains that you are running to. The Lord wants me to call you to meet this this moment. If God is not your refuge, when mountains begin to quit, where will you go? If the Lord is not the strength of your life, when the earth is shaking, when every man is shaking and quaking, where will you go? <clears throat> And if Jesus has not become the shepherd of your life, what will you do when you are confronted with the challenges and the fortitude of life? I put it to you now. At the occasion of this Thanksgiving, make Jesus your shepherd. Give him obedience. Stop struggling with God. Stop struggling. It's time to let God have his way in your life. And if you are praying that prayer and say, Lord, I want you to be the shepherd of my life. And I will not depart from your house anymore. When you want me to lie there, I will lie because I know you are thinking for me. I mean for me. Sin is what makes a man restless. Sin will pull you away from the presence of God. Secret sin will make you restless. Can I ask you to bow before God right now? And let the Lord become the refuge of your life. Let the Lord become the strength of your life. Let the Lord become your, your help and a very present help in time of trouble for that matter. Do it right now. Jesus is saying, if you make me your shepherd, I will lead you. If you open up your heart to me, I will lead you. I will, I will walk with you. Force himself on you, he will keep knocking. And this message may be another knock on your soul, another knock on your heart. And say, My son, your refuge is not yet in me. Your focus is not yet in me. Wait unto me that runs after string boards. Wait unto me who is running here and there. When I ask you to make him your refuge this moment. And if Jesus stands there and he says, give me your heart, my son. Give me your heart, my daughter. Please bow your head to do it. And if you want to just simply do that, just raise your right hand before the Lord and say, God, on the occasion of Professor Obunwale's Thanksgiving, I also want to, also want to let you have my heart. I want you to become my refuge. I want you to become my habitation. I want you to be my shepherd. Make me of your pasture. Please pray that prayer. And ask Jesus to step in there. And our chaplain will be uh, there to assist us in even leading you further than this. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for the privilege of this Thanksgiving. We thank you, God, for these five years that your servant has spent here. We thank you for all the way you have led him through. We thank you for you are the secret of his strength. We thank you, God, that we can testify that the Lord has helped us. 
And so now, Lord, all the blessing you have pronounced upon him, let it rest, let it stick on his life. Let it follow him all the days of his life in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, oh God, that from one degree of glory to another, you carry Joshua, who will continue to keep his covenant with you. I, I, I knew when he made a covenant with you many, many years ago, and he has kept at it. And today again, you say, my covenant will be with him. So that I will continue to keep an eye on my brother and continue to watch over his life. And that this new year is stepping into, and as he's stepping out of Bowen, Lord, we are asking that you lead him to a greater height. We cause your glory to envelop him from one level to another in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that no evil shall befall him. Stepping out of Bowen, he will not step into any trouble. He will rather step into a wider space. He will step into a higher place. You cause his hand to be both on the river and on the land. Everywhere, oh God, you cause his influence to increase. He has influenced students within these five years. He has influenced colleagues, lecturers, staff in different ways. I ask, oh God, let his influence increase. Let his usefulness in the kingdom of God increase. Let your grace multiply upon his life in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, for him and his wife, we bless him with your blessing. For him and his wife, we release him, O oh God, with your power. They will do well. They will do valiantly. Their next assignment, you again will lead them into it, to the glory of your name. Thank you. Now, Lord, we have all come as friends. We have all come as colleagues. We have all come as well wishers. We have all come as men in the same fellowship. We ask, oh God, that we will not forget any of us. That whatever is in your plan for each one of your people, let your will be done. Let your glory be released. Let your blessing be poured upon our lives to the praise of your name. And for those, oh God, who this morning you decided to draw them and say, make me your refuge. Make me your refuge. You will no longer run at a scatter. Make me your refuge. I will fight your battles for you. Make me your refuge, and I will bring you to rest. Make me your refuge, and no man will be able to withstand you. Lord, as many as have heard your voice, and they're saying, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, be the shepherd of my life. Be the shepherd of my soul. Be the refuge of my life. Father, I ask that you take over right now. Step into their lives. And please, Lord, mark down their name in the book of life and set them on course and set their soul on fire to the praise and glory of your name. And Lord, I pray for Bowen University, for our income vice chancellor, that in blessing you bless him. I ask, Lord, that the wisdom of God will come upon him. As we have been with our brother Joshua, Lord, God, much more you will be with this man coming in. We ask, oh God, that in blessing you bless him also. Bless him with insight, bless him with revelation, bless him with your strategy. The Lord, as he comes in, oh God, we can only increase. We can only move from one degree of glory to another. And we are trusting you God, that when we look again, we will have reason to say, look at what God has done. For all the principal officers of the university, we are trusting, oh God, that they will continue to see the glory of God in that land. For our students and their parents and our visitor, we ask, oh God, that you continue to bless them, continue to increase them, continue to perfect what concerns them to the honor and to the glory of your name. This we have asked in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, so the message has come to us. And if you are here and you have made, you know, that concrete decision to transfer your trust and confidence in God and you feel like you need uh, further counsel and interaction,
That is why we are here, particularly if uh, it's coming from one of our students and staff. We would like you to please reach out to us so that we can help you further in prayer and in uh, personal interaction. The Lord bless you. Uh, can we just appreciate the Lord for our daddy, Billy? Please, can we do that? Amen. Praise the Lord. I uh, want to quickly take this prayer further for uh, our going vice, vice chancellor and the family. Uh, actually, to do that is the president of our convention and the visitor to the university. But uh, we'll be asking our father in the Lord, Reverend Dr. Olumide Kainde, to stand in for him as he leads all of us to pray for the family of our vice chancellor. Can we celebrate the Lord as uh, our father in the Lord comes forth? Let us bow our heads for prayers for the vice chancellor and his family. I'd I like to ask you to stay where you are, stay where you are, just stay in your place, just stay in your place. I was going to ask you to be seated while the rest of us are going to remain standing as we pray for you. All right? All right. Shall we all rise as we um, um, join our beloved family in prayers? Almighty God, we thank you today. Indeed, it's your own doing. And thank you again, like we offer praises to you and thanksgiving at the beginning of this worship experience for how this great institution came into being. And thank you that everyone that has worked here has done their best. And to that, we are grateful. For that, we are grateful. And so today, O oh God Almighty, for two reasons, we come to bring before you this beloved family, Professor Joshua Olaleka Ogole and his wife and children, and by your own providence, our grandmother, and by your own providence, our grandmother, and Lord, we are all here as a family, not just Baptist family, but everyone connected with Bowen in one way or the other. Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanksgiving for this opportunity of worship experience. And so, Lord, be glorified on behalf of all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. And more specifically, God, we thank you for this five-year period that you we thank you for this five-year period that you helped your son, the leader of this place. And Lord, we recognize that leading an institution like this can never be an easy task. Indeed, like the psalmist, a task. Indeed, like the psalmist says in Psalm 46, he has seen waters, he has seen valleys, he has seen mountains, all through it. And Lord, to this end, we glorify your name. Why? Because, Lord, in it all, by the fact that he has made you his shepherd, for everything he needed by time, you have made available, particularly in grace and mercy and wisdom. To that, O oh God, we mercy and wisdom. To that, O oh God, we glorify your name. And so on his behalf, on his family's behalf, we say be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you for his dear wife. Thank you for children. In him support while he's carrying the mantle of leadership here. Lord, when he's going through pains, they go through it with him. And so, Lord, for sustenance, for grace of sustenance for these five years, that today, even marking his birthday, that today, even marking his birthday, there is no loss, no cause to say that at a time, the vice chancellor is in the hospital, or his wife is in the hospital, or any of the children is in the hospital, and consequently he cannot be on his assignment. And so, Lord, on the family's behalf, 
at this birthday and validatory service, we say, Lord, be glorified in that validatory service. We say, Lord, be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, this day, we will him to finish and to mark his birthday. Daddy, we say to you, this is your son. And as the man of God has preached, Lord, as the man of God has preached, Lord God Almighty, every of your promise that you have made concerning him, the promise of health, the promise of vision, the promise of focus, the promise of good family, the promise of the future, every of such promises that you have offered in your word, particularly in Psalm 89, beloved sir, shall be yours in the name of Jesus, shall be that of your wife in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We do not take anything for granted because we know that according to the word of God, we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. But we say the remaining days in this office, you know, the remaining days in this office, you know, fumble, you know, falter. Mercy of God, mommy, grace of God that has helped you either to Children, wisdom of God that has helped you to support your parents either to we not depart from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama Wagba told you yin ri re kumoyi ni olori bukboile koi. You are able to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in your own time, right in your own sight. Mama Emiya Gonsi. Etiri rena eo neri bilo rukojes. Etiri rena eo neri bilo rukojes. And Professor and Mr. Gwale, the Lord has so helped you to lead this university this far. As you go further, the old church rise up for you today to say that, beloved, we are sending you out in the name of the Lord. That as you go, you kojisi ire nilo rukojes. And you tell Fisile, I yon in Loruka Jesu. I barai wala yon long or lo do marry. That has ever sustained you either too. Will ever go with you in the name of Jesus. The university you are with you in the name of Jesus. The university you are leaving behind. Lati tung pada wa for Jesu. I bi o ne je i bi a i le wo yi mani o ruko Jesu. And for everybody that is standing to pray here, I speak the blessings of God over your life, beginning from the salvation of your souls to the establishment of your feet inside the Lord Jesus, that it shall be well of your feet inside the Lord Jesus, that it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And by extension, I want you to ask you, you are building upon the foundation of your predecessors. And this is she lo ruko Jesu. Kosos. And this is she lo ruko Jesu. Kone da ruma ilo wa lo ruko Jesu. And for everyone that has been the visitor of the university who is unavoidably absent here, and to the pro chancellor and chairman governing council, our dear mother, to the pro chancellor and chairman governing council, our dear mother. Professor, a lockbo, lockbo. Grace ever abiding shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. As we see off in the next what, few days, our beloved Vice Chancellor, as he bows out, he built new one university. For the outgoing VC, he built new one new IA. I want you to also pay Iron Korea Mami. And to lead any institution in the Baptist denomination. Oh, as you go, having done your best, the grace of God go with you. The favor of God go with you. The mercy of God go with you. Any other thing that it will please the Lord, 
to give to you as an assignment. As you succeeded here, you are succeeding ever. As you did it here, the Lord continue to do it in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God Almighty. We soak in the blood of Jesus Christ that as you leave this place, Bowen University, our thoughts go with you even as your memory are still linger with us. We ask that mercy, 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 mercy over everything that the enemy may choose to do. Mercy fights for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And favor us. We accord your ways. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Let the church shout out. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, I want to listen to a comment from, uh, we have three on our list here, where we quickly uh, give opportunity to the representative of the executive secretary of the committee of vice chancellors and registrar of private university to also uh, join uh, the list we have. We are making four people. Uh, so I will be asking you to please join me as I invite uh, the president of the Nigeria Baptist Convention and the visitor to Bowen University, represented here today by the vice president ministerial, to bring his own uh, good thoughts and comment about our vice chancellor, Reverend Dr. Madoe. Over to you, sir. Yes, it's your turn, sir. Thank you. Please permit me to request all the EC members of the convention that are present to please stand with me. And um, as I read uh, our comment, uh, the president will please stand with me. My colleague, the two vice president, please come and stand with me. Mommy, please come, stand with us. All right. Comments on Professor Joshua Guole on the occasion of his birthday and valedictory service, July 20, 23, 2023. We'll make this comment on behalf of the president of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, who is the visitor to this university. This university. I stand on behalf of the president of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, Dr. Israel A. Akanji, who is the visitor to this university and the president to the All African Baptist Fellowship, to congratulate Professor Joshua Oguwale on this auspicious occasion of your birthday and valedictory service. The president so much wished to be here in this service, but as you, Professor Oguwale, and our dear mother, Dickness Joan Ayo, know, the president is currently undertaking, on behalf of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, some critical assignment in the United States of America to the glory of God and to the advancement of our great convention. And so on his behalf, and on behalf of the Executive Committee of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, and of course, the entire Nigerian Baptist Convention family, I say a very big congratulations to Professor Joshua Guwale or your, and your beautiful family for a very robust leadership you have provided to Bowen University during your tenure as the Vice Chancellor. Your tenure is quite vibrant, and you have left your footprint in the, sand of, in the sand of time. One question that the Nigerian Baptist Convention family can ask to determine whether we should say thank you or not is, is Bowen University on course today as a university, 
after the tenure of Professor Oguwale? That's the question. And without blinking the eyes, we can answer in the affirmative. Therefore, the convention is saying a very big thank you to you, the quintessential and erudite Deacon Professor Joshua Oguwale. Your passionate leadership over this university and the successes recorded under your leadership are well appreciated. We acknowledge that Professor Guale is a very intelligent, active, innovative, and hardworking vice chancellor. We deeply appreciate how you have deployed your energy and endowment for the advancement of our great university. Please note that as leaders of the convention, proprietors of this university, we have had tough times together in the course of your leadership over this university. Times of deep conversations, times of argument, times of offending one another, and times of laughter. As stakeholders, all that we had done together were born out of sincere desire for our legacy university, Bowen. Our joy today is that you are completing your tenure on a note of joy, of success, and with great testimonies. We pray for you that in the next phase of your life, God's abiding presence, power, providence, and favor we go with you. Congratulations on the successful completion of your tenure as Vice Chancellor of Bowen University. Congratulations on your birthday. And together with all the convention executives of Bowen University, congratulations on your birthday. And together, happy birthday to you, Professor Joshua Oguwale. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. And please, before I drop the microphone, I want to thank our mother. Beside every successful man is a very powerful woman. Thank you, Ma, for your support towards the successes that we have recorded uh, in the administration of our dear Vice Chancellor. Thank you, Ma. And the children, you did not also uh, in the administration of our dear Vice Chancellor. Thank you, Ma. And the children, you did not also let your father down. You did not let us down. We are part, and today it is a success story. Greater heights, the Lord will take you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, thank you. Can we celebrate the Lord one more time? All right. Uh, I have the honor again to invite to the pulpit the media past visitor to our university and the former Khan Chairman and our convention, <laughs> Reverend Dr. Ola Sokpo Ayokunle. I believe we can celebrate him better. Just for correction, the position was former camp president. We have chairmen at the state level, and we have only one president at the national level, national president of Christian Association of Nigeria. I appreciate the planners of the program for the opportunity to make some comments about uh, the outgoing vice chancellor of our beloved university. He came on board during my administration as the president of the convention and the visitor to this school. And uh, I gave the final approval. When they br brought his name, I asked for where he came from. Unfortunately, they didn't know. Ah, said, you are bringing somebody you didn't make proper inquiry of where he came from, they said he just dazzled everybody with his performance. 
So they forgot to ask other questions. <laughs> and I said, wow, that must be God. That must be God. Because you are not at all in the bookmaker's uh, book. We didn't know you before. God just brought you from nowhere. And maybe you also came in at the last hour. You didn't prepare to come before. But God had you in mind. And we want to thank you for not letting God down. Who placed his mandate upon you and brought you here. And thank you for not letting the search committee of that time down also. Some of them are here. And you can see, when you allow God to walk, what God can really do. Uh, when you came on board, I told you my first discussion with you was, as a visitor, I'm not a professional in university management. By grace of chance, I'm just a visitor because of my position at the Nigerian Baptist Convention. But you are the professional. You are the chief executive officer of the university. In terms of daily administration, you come first. And I promise you, I will not micromanage you. I will allow you to use all the gifts and the talents God has given you to run this university. Um, by God's grace, we kept to that throughout your leadership. And uh, by the grace of God, we can thank God for many things he has uh, used you to do. One part of the things I saw in you was how respectful you are. You recognize boundaries. Though I've always told you, you are the vice chancellor. You are the chief executive officer. But you, will, you have always respected boundaries and said, but you are the visitor. I just need to let you know. You are very respectful, very humble. And uh, please, I want to urge you to keep that up as you are going. You are very charismatic. In your charisma, you are very restless. I have never related with any vice chancellors as restless as you. Extremely restless. Always going. Doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. And you are never tired. You are never tired. You are never tired. Uh, God goes for you also, sun health. And I want to thank God and thank Madam for balanced diet that you have been giving to him. He's just jumping like a horse everywhere. May the Lord continue to use you together for the betterment of humanity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are very creative and transformational of humanity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are very creative and transformational, bringing new ideas of how this university should be run. One other thing I saw in you was your prudence. By the time you came on board, we were having a problem with our finances. During the long vacation, when the students are on break, there will be no money to pay the staff, I mean, the, the salaries. Then we were having to pay about 200 million every month as staff salary. And you will run to the convention to come and borrow every long vacation. And you called me and said, we have reached an inflection level. If we don't care, take care. If you want to be adding sentiment into the administration of the university, we will soon fold up. Not only that we, you will run to us and we will look for money everywhere to make sure that the, the staff were paid until when the students resumed. We were also in some banks uh, running to more than a billion. When you came on board, with all what you suggested, we were within two years 
we were able to clear all our debts. To the glory of God. So you are very, very, very prudent in management. And I hope that the person that is coming after you will oppose this. You are very bold and also forward looking. You introduced some changes into the administration of uh, this university. You transformed the security unit very drastically. So that the people that are employing the security have a sense of value. They are very proud of what they are doing. You have elevated them. Thank you very much. You waged successful war against courtism. The trouble was too much. And you were not compromising with them at all. So we had respite to a large extent when you came on board because you didn't compromise with them. You also expanded the academic programs of this university, especially in the environmental studies and also medicine and engineering. Mechatonic engineering was added by you and other environmental courses in the area of architecture and other things, which we felt that we had make this university look more modern because these are the courses in vogue that the students want to study. So we want to thank you for using your professionalism to bring all that into the university. You moved from moved us from bogus administrative departmental system to the college system. You said the cost of administration was too much. And if we continue like that, we wouldn't be able to employ competent academic staff. And the students are here only to study and be well equipped for tomorrow. It's not, administration is not number one assignment for the university here. The number one assignment is uh, teaching and research. And we need to cut down on our bogus departmental system that has increased the wage bill in order to keep going. And I said, go ahead. Bogus departmental system that has increased the wage bill in order to keep into it. But God is our judge and the judge of every action. Not playing to the gallery at all, but taking the bull by the horn. Uh, uh, we have supported you to do that. And today we have rest of mind because we can cope with all our expenses. Finally, you have kept this university financially afloat and also given us a good name in the society. Bowen University is one of the... I met the NUC uh, chairman, the Abraman, the one that just left. We met at Asu Rock. And he said, he, he called me aside there. He said, the uh, president of the convention of history of the university, he said, any time I hear of Bowen University, I am usually glad. Because you have kept to the rule. You are one of the private, the best private universities in Nigeria. What, that was what he told me. Thank you for building on what others are done and taking it further. And I pray that the good Lord who, who saw all what you do will give you a higher platform in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank the children for not putting your father to shame for not misbehaving. Mama, thank you for giving all this, your, your, your son, to lead our university. And uh, Mama Fisi, the one that is always with him every day, thank you for being very supportive, easy going. If your husband was making noise, you are not making any noise. You have been calming everybody down. You have been very supportive. 
And uh, this is the result. You have been coming everybody down. You have been very supportive. And uh, this is the result. May he make you stronger than, and better than ever before. This continue to be upon you. May he be bad day and progress as you go in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Praise the Lord. All right, before I invite uh, forward the Pro Chancellor and the Chairman of the Governing Council, I would like to quickly invite Dr. Abolon Ude to give uh, a short comment on behalf of the Executive Secretary of the Committee of Vice Chancellor and Registrar of Private University. Can we celebrate God as he comes forward? Thank you. Praise the Lord. On behalf of the Committee of Vice Chancellor of the Nigerian Universities, the Secretariat, headed by Professor Yakubu Abokio Chifu, who is unavoidably absent this morning, uh, this afternoon, I am Dr. Yes Abolonde of the Department of History, University of Ibadan. We are the Committee of Vice Chancellor of Nigerian University. Through the Secretariat, congratulate Professor Joshua Ogunwale on this occasion. And uh, we are particularly happy with your performance and your support for cutting edge research and how this university has produced graduates, scholars who have contributed to the growth of our dear nation and who are still contributing. We are particularly ecstatic with your performance, your sterling performance as the head of this noble university. And we believe that this would not have been possible without God and hard work. And uh, we are proud to associate with you on this occasion. And we, once again, we congratulate you on today's occasion as you bow out as the Vice Chancellor. We wish you all the best in your future endeavor. Thank you. All right, uh, now I would like us to uh, honor God again as uh, I invite the Pro Chancellor and the Chairman of Council, Dickness Joan Olatoyosi, IOON, as she brings her own uh, comment about her Vice Chancellor. I believe it is God, we are doing it all, not anyone. By leave of the distinguished personalities on the high table and recognizing our cabiases. I want to do something unconventional. You please forgive me. Mama Ogunwale, can one of the daughters please bring her forward? The mama of the vice chancellor. Help her to come forward. There's a song that is very common in Nigeria, Sweet Mother. Even if it's just the shortest part of it, let's just sing it for her. Because the Lord has spared her life to see this beautiful day. The glory is to God, the blessings to her. Sweet, sweet mother, please help me sing it. And let her dance. I'll dance with her. Sweet mother, I know go forget you. What well, is so far away, you so far for me. Sweet mother, ah, sweet mother. Uh, but it's so far away, you so far for me. Sweet mother, ah, sweet mother. Yeah. If no job, my mother no go job. If I no say, my mother no go see. If no go say, 
Sweet mother, I know go back and do that. It's a song for me, yeah. Sweet mother, I know go back and do that. It's a song for me, yeah. Sweet mother, ah, sweet mother. Yes, sir. It's in. In. Thank you. It's just all glory to God for this beautiful day. The Lord has attested to all that we have done by giving us this beautiful weather. Yesterday it rained, but today we are having this bright day. Glory, honor, majesty, dominion, and thanksgiving be to his holy name in Jesus' name. Having said that, so much has been said about Professor Joshua Ogunwale. I don't want to repeat what has been said. But if I do, it's just to emphasize the qualities of character that he has. You know, repetition strengthens memory. I want to thank Professor Ogunwale for making my job easy. In the sense that when I got in here, I discovered that he is a man of prayer, a man of God. We both discovered that first and foremost, we need to recognize that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And so because we have that spiritual commonality, it made it easy for me to penetrate him and to be able to work with him. It's a problem in any institution when you are seeking God's face and the other one is going places seeking for help. So this made my work easy and I thank God for that. Secondly, as others have said, Joshua Gunwale is a very intelligent man. You give him a proposal, you give him an idea, he's quick to crystallize and bring it to reality. You don't have to be talking to him a thousand times for him to get what you are seeing. By the time you are landing, he's already landing there with you. And so, we are able to work effectively together. You give him 10 assignments. Before you know it, he's clearing it and reporting back. Most people don't know what it is to give a feedback. And so the job you give them, you can as well tag RIP, rest in perfect peace, not with him. He is quick to grab, quick to execute, and quick to give results. So I thank God for that. I came from a different background from his. A background where we kept to the core values of the public service. And I told him, I want to break down Godliness, excellence, entrepreneurship, and leadership into the core values of the public service. And he was looking at me. I said, so I'm going to emphasize meritocracy, political neutrality. There should be no interference. And you should have that integrity to be able to speak truth to power. If you have integrity, if there's going to be any political interference, you should be able to say, this should not be. He got all that. And of course, we went on to talk about impartiality. 
accountability, transparency. I find to be a man who cannot be faulted as far as money is concerned. That thing they call corruption in Nigeria, money is concerned. That thing they call corruption. I always tell the principal officers, the fact that Joshua Gwale is generous does not make the university to go broke. On the contrary, it builds goodwill for the university. What makes an... On the contrary, it builds goodwill for the university. What makes an institution to go broke is corruption. I didn't find that in him. He was in no way corrupt. Nobody can fault him as far as the bane of that he cannot account for. Not only that, Joshua, apart from being intelligent, is also full of initiative. It's been said, I'm not trying to repeat, I'm only trying to re reimburse what has been said. He is a man who is forward-looking. That boldness in him has made us to go places. Because when people lost faith in him on one or two occasions, but I saw the boldness in him, and he was able to give me the steps, the bold steps he was going to take to get to where we were going. I followed him. We were successful. We were successful. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. That is Joshua. You introduce him or we go places. He doesn't take advantage of the big people we come in contact with. He stands there to proclaim what he has to say about Bowen University. And so, by the time I worked a year with him, all the values of Bowen University I see in him, godliness, excellence. So it's not just saying it, it's living it. As a lady, I'm very weary of the type of men I work with. Because you work with some men, <laughs> your reputation is tarnished. Thank God. Ogunwale is not just a man of integrity, he's a man of impeccable character. <laughs> We've gone places together. I have seen him being upright, being honest. We've gone places together. I have seen him being upright. I can readily associate with him. I can readily bring him into my family as one man that shares our values, Christian values. As one man that shares our values. He is a man of high moral standard. <laughs> Finally, Finally, Joshua is a man that can dine with kings and not lose the common touch. As Shakespeare put it, a man who can dine with kings there. We go overseas, you see him in high position, he fits in there. We go overseas, he changes the Ogumosho accent, He's speaking Oibo accent. And then, say Mama Ekbeleo, I know that. He fits into every place where he finds himself. And that is what has been summarized by the former visitor as humility.
presence of mind. He carries himself with dignity, dignity of character. And he's not afraid. He could be stubborn, but he found a good, stubborn person in me. So both of us, several times, will argue, we will insist on this and that. At the end of the day, we will resolve the argument, all in the interest of booing. I thank God for his life. I thank God for his wife. This is a lady who made my work easy for me because my own background doesn't know time limit. When I come up with any idea by 2 a.m., I'm texting Joshua. When I'm disagreeing with something that I have read that he has sent to me, I'm texting Joshua. Surprisingly, he too will reply. On my job, I don't know the difference between man and woman. And so it made it easy for me to relate to everybody. But luckily, this lady is so understanding and she has faith in her husband. And with respect and regard, she sees me as a mother. Finally, 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 I thank God that with Joshua working with me, we have been able to bring Bowen out of the woods. We have gone places, we have advertised Bowen, and I'm happy to say He's living, Bowen, a proud man, a man of achieving, an achiever. Bowen, a proud man, a man of achieving, an achiever, a man who can beat his chest and say, I have done my Brought you so far, we continue to lead you on. And I pray that God will lead you on and he will help you to follow without fear. Congratulations. Good luck to you. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, before we listen to the response from uh, our Vice Chancellor, the outgoing Vice Chancellor, I believe that today will not be the last day will be hearing response and response and response from him. We still have uh, close to six or seven days we'll be hearing from uh, our vice chancellor. But for some of us who may not be with us in the course of this week, you know, we still have uh, a lot of programs we will be having together to celebrate uh, his exit. I would like to quickly recognize we will be having together to celebrate. Uh, the first person is uh, Professor Omar Lane from uh, Federal University, Oyekiti. He was a former Deputy Vice Chancellor of Federal University and a very good friend of our uh, Vice Chancellor. Thank you, sir. Uh, we celebrate you. I've been to his compound uh, with the Vice Chancellor and we had uh, pandanium and vegetable. <laughs> the wife is here. Oh, where is mommy, please? <laughs> okay, thank you very much uh, for the pandanium I had with the Vice Chancellor. God bless you. We all know you, man. We also have uh, one of our directors from the Nigeria Baptist Convention, the director of the Directorate of Ecumenism, and that is uh, Reverend Dr. Testimony One Fade, and I think uh, he is still a current member of the council. All right, thank you very much. God bless you, sir. We celebrate you. All right, I would like you to please join me as I invite uh, Vice I believe uh, the students should... Uh, give me a better round of applause for this time as we invite the Vice Chancellor forward for his response. Hallelujah. Thank you. A round of applause for this time as we invite the Vice Chancellor forward for his response. Hallelujah. <laughs> 
Lord, praise the Lord. I'm sorry for those who could not, who would not understand the Yoruba, but there is no other way that I can express this than in this music. It has all been God's mercy. Um, while I'm talking around, some of our books produced by the university within this five, five, five years will be distributed to us. Um, I want to say today <clears throat> is about those that God have used for us to get here. The Bible says about those that made David king. Success is king. And so what we want to talk today, my response is about those that God have used to make us get here. There is no way a tree can make a forest. But God used men. And um, I will start by calling some names. If you are here, just stand up. Please don't just stand up. It's to glorify God. Not anyone. Baba Reverend Adeyi, are you here? Baba Reverend Adeyi. Can you wave your hand if you are here? Is he here? Um, Reverend Idowa Deemi is he here? Victory Baptist Church. Iwo. Reverend Idowa Deemi. Uh, Itasiwaju Baptist Church. Iba. Reverend Alimi. Okay, they are not around. Um, Pastor James Ojo Baba, are you here? I know you are here. Where are you? Please just wave your hand. Okay, God bless you. God bless you, sir. Yes. Um, Please just wave your hand. Prophet, are you Tunde? I know you are here, sir. Where are you, sir? Baba Orioki. I want to thank God for this and several men. 
that God used as Aaron and all for us in the place of prayer these five years. God has tremendously used them. When people say that um, VC can pray, they were the men that God used to help the VC in the place of prayer. I thank God for you and I bless the name of the Lord. So particularly, my situation was challenging because just before I stepped into office, a voice came from the deep that you will not prosper. Just before I stepped into office, and I, and, I, and I spoke to the deep. I said, even if Agbana, the spirit that wastes, is put into my situation, my situation will swallow it. And today, it's worthy to praise the Lord because the, that voice from the deep has been put to shame. It's difficult to serve in the Niger with the Nigerian Baptist Convention. That's the truth. I must say that. I must say that. There are times people who you expect that they will lift your hand. They are the ones who will carry room, who will hear a rumor. Uh, the VC is uh, having a sexual relationship with somebody and they carry that rumor and it flies about and so on. I thank God for my children. There was a day I called my children. Say, this is what people are saying now. They say, Daddy, forget about it. Face your work. God bless you. You can be lonely in these places, but you need people who at every point in time, God used them to help you. You can be lonely in these places. I told them that service is not about ostentation. It's not about show off. A position is a call to service. It's not a call to show off. It's not a call to say, me, self, I must be here and so on. And I thank God that they all decided and agreed to be baptized in me. Rather than they coming out and popping their face, they agreed to be baptized in me. So when I stand, you see the Ogunwale's family. I'm not sure that several people have seen my children together like this. No. But in their various places, they will pray, they will sit me down when they hear things, they will ask questions, and they, that they, what are the challenges and so on. So we have done this work together and God will richly bless you. Particularly that you did not bring the name to shame. I want to thank God for you. I remember one day, my son drove my car and he came back. I said, never in your life drive inside Bowen. If you make a mistake, it's the VC son that made a mistake. Outside Bowen, well, you can drive. Never in your life drive in Bowen. Well. And I thank God that since that day, son. Joshua never drove the car in Bowen again. The Lord will bless you. For listening to the voice of your father, God will bless you. I thank God for the team I have worked with. Several teams. I'm the vice, vice chancellor. I think that we work with two visitors. First vice chancellor that we work with four chancellors. First vice chancellor that we work with two pro chancellors. First vice chancellor that we work with two registrars. First vice chancellor that we work with two chaplains. First vice chancellor that we work with two divisions. First vice chancellor that we work with two bosses. First vice chancellor that we work with three librarians. I thank God for all those that we have worked together. Tyler, they thank you for coming today. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will honor you. That is Dr. Kayode Ogunle. You know, I call him Kayode. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Taiwo, you have been very supportive. That is uh, Mr. Taiwo Okwade and his wife. Thank you very much. Even when you left, you kept sending words of support. I cannot forget my Egbon. 
Egba Bara Sunday. Um, because I call him Bara Sunday, he look at you. It's when he comes to the office, I call him Bara Sunday. Give me say, thank you for being a worthy forerunner. When you you have kept office, faith in Sunday. every, you have acted you as um, you a registrar and take handed over without showing any reason to feel bad. That you are, you, are a, you are a registrar extraordinary. You are a registrar plenipotentiary. I thank God for you and I bless God for you. Uh, let me thank my Kabiesi. Kabiesi, I thank you. Um, Kabiesi came and uh, our heart knitted, was knit together. Uh, and uh, for your information, I am the Otuare of Olukwana. And uh, for your information, Kabezi was among the first people who organized a reception in his palace for me and announced that I'm the Otuare of Olukwana. And by the grace of God, in November, we are coming to do the. So, Nigerian Baptist Convention, be aware. <laughs> God bless you, sir. I, I have enjoyed good relationship with the with the Olupo stool. Whether the, my father, um, Baba Oyebameji, who had gone to be with the Lord, whose wife is here, we've had a wonderful relationship together. And this had rubbed on and extended to the current KBC. KBC, I appreciate God for you and I thank you very much. Um, many people always see when they see the a lot of what I'm open. They don't know that uh, KBC is not first a king to me. He's first a father. He was my Sunday school teacher for many years. Yes. In fact, they were the people who made us to love coming to watch them at preparatory class. It was in the, in his, in the hands of men like this that I saw fellow beds. It was in the hands of men like this I saw uh, Matthew's um, commentary. And they will sit like this and they will discuss Bible. Uh, I would just come and sit down uh, just to watch commentary. them. Because and my father also was part of them. You'll be honest, sit down. Bible. You have not read this. Sit, sit down. down. And the make the, the preparatory class of Sunday school for Baptists to be something else. No wonder I rejoice the day I saw that um, the Lord had placed you on the throne over your people. You will live long, sir. Kabis, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot but appreciate um, my father in the Lord. Babo Lumide Kainde. Babo Lumide Kainde is one uh, chancellor. That is that stands tall and different with intelligence um with sense of humor and um baba is super prayerful baba had used all with to encourage us humor, even when he left baba is super he never left baba office he kept encouraging us. us he kept praying even for us my daddy my daddy thank you very much you will you will remember my daddy even after i've left in the name of Jesus. I thank God for, for you. I appreciate God for you. Um, to be candid. You heard what um, my mother, the pro chancellor, said. The only thing we don't do is that we don't box ourselves. But when we come to the open, we will put a smile as if we never quarrel. But we can be moving like this and we are quarreling. All right? But several times, she's a year older than my mother. All right, so several times, I will look at her. I have somebody like you at home, and I'm dealing with her. And many times, my mother also. Mola gboni, mola gboni ta. Gboni, let me go handle her. Go come out to wash her quickly. So I have used the two of them um, to to face each other so that they will not intimidate me. But one thing I cannot forget with her. She came at a time when I was giving up. 
she came as a time when this is work and people were allowing personal sentiments to make work not to move forward and she came and she said go ahead finish work that we should have finished years before three one month when she came she jumped held it by the horn and we were able to finish even the fact that the Niger beer, when everybody thought that the VT Niger beer was not going to happen, I almost felt like dying that day. Actually, that day, something died inside me. But God made this woman to arise. And she arose and said, this thing we will finish. And uh, when you finish everything, it's VC, everybody will recognize. And, uh, uh, when I am the VC, the VC by the grace of God. Nice. Thank you, ma. Uh, and God I bless you. Um, Thank you, ma. I cannot forget the team uh, I am, I've been working with. This team tolerated me so much. The, my deputy vice chancellor. I cannot want any other deputy vice chancellor like uh, Oluwato Sin at Obatele. Very patient, very understanding. Very, very stubborn, very yes. Many people, it's very, very cool, but Tosi also will not bend. You. Many people think that the VC pushes Tosi for we are, but you can handle so you can hand over something to Tosi and go and but sleep. You can God bless you. you God will elevate you one day. You will be vice chancellor in the name of Jesus. I thank God for my registrar. That's one man we fight also every day. But I know when he has, when he's angry, his face will be swollen, and so on. So I know how I said to him, when he gets swollen, I, I pull him, register, I'm sorry. And when you say I'm sorry, uh, yeah, register, when you say I'm sorry, we are going to dissolve, and so on. Register, thank God for you. Um, everything we are doing is so that you will be better. And so you will be, in the name of so Jesus. Be um, let so me we'll be. appreciate my bossa. Very cool, very quiet, but very definite. Very definite. He may be playing with students like this and so on, but cross your line. All right? He will deal with you decisively. I love him for that. I love him for a man who knows how to separate discipline and play. He won't mix them up. Uh, Bossa, the Lord is your strength. He's an FCA now. My Bossa, the Bossas I'm working with, Abitawo. FCAs, Motinimi, Lobosa, George FCA. God bless you. Um, Liberian, um, Ronke is another person that, um, if I appear like this, she may want to go this way until she was able to finally do what we have been longing for. And that is, we said we wanted an application where our student can walk into the library from anywhere. And today, she can sit here smiling at me from a distance because she achieved it. Roger, thank you. God bless you. Why I'm saying this is that uh, it wasn't funny. It was hard. It was fight. I'm saying this is it that was war. It wasn't funny. But when we it all got hard. to the destination, was there was a relief and a joy that filled our heart. I'll be back on my, my chaplain. My chaplain. My chaplain, Reverend Gideon Akabi, Reverend Gideon Akabi is God's Akabi. gift at this time. He came at the it's appropriate God's time, and I thank God that the Nigerian Baptist Convention agreed that he will come. He changed the face of um, chaplaincy, and I'm sure that. Um, um, Reverend Mrs. Bosses, the Lord knows what I'm talking about. Um, that, and some other few people knows what I'm talking about. All right? He had made our students to long to be in the chapel. And so on. Um, God will continue to increase you. Continue to As you desire them to be godly brains, the labor over their life will not be in vain. In the name of this team. They are great teams. When a student is sick at night and there is an emergency, I don't know how we all arrive. We have arrived there, all of us. And everybody is praying and so on. It's great to work 
in oneness. God will reward you in the name of Jesus. I cannot keep calling names, but I really want to appreciate our council members, um, the pastors of pastors like my um, pro-chancellor will say, um, Dr. Ankem, thank you very much for coming. Uh, within the time you have been in council, we know it for good. The you Lord will continue to council. bless you. Other members of, um, of council, internal, uh, Abimbola, uh, Grace, all of you, thank you for making this happen. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Finally, last but not the least, let me thank Baba Obanduma. There were times that the war was hot. And uh, this man, myself, and the then visitor, we are actually the people who were taking the bashes. Now go to Korea. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will reward you. You will, you will forever be my elder brother. Thank you very much. Ah, I'm taking my seat now, don't worry. Thank you very much. Uh, ah, this is my own way I'm of wanting to appreciate a man who believes in us. Uh, this I is my way Come, let's open this. Man the man who believes in us, the man who, who gave us the opportunity to be what we, what Bowen had become today. The man who could say, just go on, we are praying for you. And so, not only him, his wife too has a day. Quietly she dedicates to pray for Bowen. Baba, there is nothing we can do than to present this to you. Thank you, sir. 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 It's a good embarrassment, sir. It's a good embarrassment. Yes. If you had never supported us, we won't get to this destination. Thank you for being a father indeed. God bless you. Every one of you, thank God for you. We bless God for your life. We say, Bowen is marching forward. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. Bowen marching forward. Amen. Can you stand up, Bowen Knight? Bowen Knight, you can stand up. Amen. marching forward. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you. Before we take our hymn, sir, the Bible says, May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you as you go in Jesus' name. Shall we please rise to our feet as we sing farewell hymn for our Vice Chancellor from our Baptist hymn, our hymn 372, God be with you till we meet again. Shall please rise. Sweet, sweet. 
Can we have a seat for a moment? I just want to drop a few announcements. Then we are going to take. <laughs> we want to appreciate our patience and uh, for giving us this time. We know that uh, we have stretched beyond uh, the allotted time, but we can't do birthday twice. And we can't do, before we can do another validity service, that will be five years from now. So I want to appreciate your, we are not taking it for granted, please. Uh, I just want to make a few announcements before we take the closing prayer and uh, we will be off from here. Uh, we still want to remind us that uh, all family members, all invited guests, all principal officers and their spouses, all invited guests and their spouses, all provosts and directors and council members uh, will be uh, expecting us to be at Bupaf uh, Secretariat after the service. Other members of staff uh, will collect tickets and they will go straight to BBSF Cafeteria to uh, take their meal. Again, we want to, in order to save our time, when we, there is a photo stand uh, at Bupaf Secretariat where the VC will be having the opportunity of taking a uh, photograph with uh, a lot of us, but for the sake of time and for us to uh, maximize our place, uh, immediately uh, our Father in the Lord, I think I have another opportunity now, the former president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, so to correct myself, I'm very sorry, sir, for those. <laughs> so before I ask him to give us the closing prayer and benediction, immediately he does that before we take the recessional hymn, we will be taking uh, a group photograph here on the altar, the vice chancellor and the family together with the visitor, the, uh, the current, the past visitors, the pro-chancellor, the past and the present, and the principal officers, the past and the present. That's the first group. The second group, all the directors and conference president on the uh, uh, altar here with coach and his family. The third group, all the council member present and coach. Then the coach will now go down to take the last with the KBSAs. Then I will take our recession on him and be off here. Somebody reminded me that we have not sang happy birthday to, I mean, for our coach. And today is his birthday, 23-23. Uh, 23-7-2023. A very unique day. So can we all be upstanding? Why coach? Uh, we sit down, then we sing happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to to you. Happy birthday. Happy to birthday. You. Happy it's birthday only my voice I'm hearing. Let's make it louder. Happy birthday. Oh, yes. May the good Lord bless you. 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 That is why we always add. How old are you now? How old are you you now. Happy birthday to you. You want to respond? I am 56 years old. 
I am 56 years old. I am 56 years old. Today, I am 56 years old. All right, may the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord, may the good Lord, may the good Lord bless you. Please join me as I invite our Father in the Lord to bless us with a word of prayer and benediction. Thereafter, we go into our photograph then. We take the session. I thank you. Prayer. Um, Living Father, thank you for granting us space before you, the owner of today. We are praying, eternal Father, the encomiums that people showered on your son out of the way they saw him we reinforce him in the future to do better in life in Jesus name everlasting father you are the Lord God of this university his exit from this university after successful tenure we now bring backwardness to this university Neither, O oh God, will he bring disruption in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, I pray that the current visitor, the chancellor, and all others who are saddled with responsibilities now, we do the work under the atmosphere of the almighty God. And they will cooperate maximally with the vice chancellor that is incoming to be able to achieve our vision from the beginning when we started this citadel of learning in the name of Jesus. Living Father, be with your son as you allowed him to see another day of his birth. Let the years ahead be more productive. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the years ahead, you will have more testimonies to share. Your life will impact more on your generation. You will never get out of reckoning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we commit everywhere which I hear has come here today to your hands that their eyes will go see good things. Lord, that their, their horns will be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. You came here with joy. You will turn with greater joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal Father. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Be with the visit visitor of this school wherever he is. Let your presence, your power be with him in the name of Jesus. Lord, with this responsibility, he has to travel constantly on daily basis. He is never his own again until he has completed his tenure. We pray that you will continue to keep his family and you continue to keep him. And you will bring him eventually at the appointed time to a successful completion of his assignment in the name of Jesus. You that was with us, you will be with him in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. And unto him who is able to keep us from falling and is able to present us forthly before his throne with exceeding joy to the most high God, our Father. I commit the spirit, soul, and body of Professor Joshua Olalekan Ogunwale and his family. Body. Unto of your Professor his hands, Joshua I commit Olaleka Bowen University. And his family. Unto his hands, Unto I commit your, everyone his hands. here. I co May the Lord keep you and bless you. May the Lord cause his way to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you peace all the days of your life, now and forevermore. 
a thunderous amen. amen. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, please, can we have a seat? Uh, very quickly, uh, the visitors, thank you, sir. past and present, uh, can we have the pro chancellors, uh, past and present, uh, the principal officers visitors. of the university, the vice presidents of our convention. So, please, can we quickly come to the front here and take a shot with coach with the family members, please? Uh, And then call me Vice Chancellor, please. Okay, let's make it snap. The next group, uh, the family of uh, uh, all right, the, the next group and uh, all the conference presidents, the family of, uh, and, uh, and directors, and the chancellors that couldn't make this first group. Please, can we come, please? And directors, and the chancellors, all the conference presidents, all the directors of the Baptist building, of our convention, and the chancellor. Can we make it? Uh, can we reduce our voice, please? Uh, can we make it? Uh, can we reduce our voice, please? The next group is the council members, please. Please, we want to appeal to you to still give us a few minutes to take the recessional hymn. Students, we know that uh, you are hungry, you are please tired, we to to and we you please uh, let our patients have his full work. Thank you. All right, the council members that are around, please. All the council members. All right, the council members. All the council members. As soon as the vice chancellor steps down to take photograph with the KBSCs, from there I will be taking the session line and I will be taking the session line. From there I will be taking the session line. 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 Please, let's uh, quickly arrange ourselves. Uh, the congregation is waiting for us, please. The recessional hymn. Who is taking the recessional hymn? Okay, can we quickly?
quickly have the past principal officers, please. Please, very quickly. Dr. Gulaye, Mr. Fade, please, very quickly. Please, very quickly. This is the last one for this stage, please. The last one now, coach, please. Uh, the vice chancellor will step down with the family. They will take with the two KBACs. And uh, all the protocols to help us gather their things. Hello, John. As soon as coach steps down, he's not coming up again. So let's carry his things. So now from there, we'll take the recession at him. Can okay, we bring it down, please? Recession at him. Uh, this is how our recession we go. Uh, the vice chancellor and the family will follow this part. Why the well wisher family members, students, uh, we follow them to rejoice with them. Those of us on the altar, yeah, we recess from this to end, from this left and this right to follow the choir. Please be patient, be patient, be. Hello, hello, hello. Please. Uh. All right, are we done? Okay. All right, are we done? Okay. Once again, we are expecting uh, the following people all family members, invited guests, principal officers, past and present, and their spouses, provosts, directors, council members, and their spouses at Bupaf Secretariat. While the rest of us, uh, they will be giving us a ticket to go to BBSF cafeteria to take uh, me. God bless you. All right, can we take the recession at him? The vice chancellor and the family member will follow uh, this side. Uh, those of us on the altar, we go by the two sides as we process with, I mean, as we recess, sorry, please with the choir member. Praise the Lord. We shall rise for the recession of him. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this valley. Crystal fountain winds the healing stream that float at the fire and cloudy pillar lend me all my journey through strong deliverer, strong deliverer, be thou still my strength and Tread the verge of Jordan, 
Swelling 